You have been asking us about RouterOS version 7 on forums, social media, emails and even paper mail. But before we start, just kidding, let's start right away. RouterOS version 7 is here, the beating heart of Mikrotik that rewards curiosity and sparks creativity. No matter how many Ethernet ports you have, what CPU you're running, even the smallest of routers can achieve greatness with the software. With any Mikrotik device, you're getting full features, no paywalls. And now, RouterOS is more powerful than ever. Today, I want to talk to you about some of the changes in the long-awaited version 7.1 full release. We will look at the kernel changes, routing improvements, containers, zero-tier support and more. Okay, so first things first, what made RouterOS version 7 finally possible? The Linux kernel update. The 5.6 update shook the Linux world, so many new features and hardware support, as well as new network drivers. For example, the highly anticipated WireGuard support became possible. This new kernel opens many doors for producing new and exciting types of hardware. You can expect really impressive version 7 only products soon enough. RouterOS version 7 redefines routing. With a new IPv6 stack and new routing engine, you can expect the best performance to date. The new features include IPv6 policy routing, separate processes for each routing protocol, fully functional IPv6 recursive routing, ECMP and VRF support for IPv6. We have added proper VRF light support, and you can now use interface lists. And here comes the game changer, massive BGP performance boost. Now each BGP peer can be processed by up to two cores, one for the input, one for the output. And if we talk about performance, there is another change I must mention. Remember how you sometimes needed 10 to 15 minutes for the print command to handle your largest routing tables? Well, in version 7 we managed to optimize this process. To seconds, not minutes. That's right, 10 seconds and you're good to go. We have added global routing IDs. When you are running a set of routing protocols in one instance, they will have the same routing ID. Previously, you had to change it separately for OSPF, BGP, LDP and so on. But not anymore. Now the ID is located in one place and can be easily modified. Now, let's look at some more BGP changes. We decided to rewrite BGP from scratch, and so we did. The new BGP features the aforementioned affinity control, reduced memory consumption, significantly improved performance, dynamic peer support, ability to see received routes before filtering, and address list support. One last thing here, we also redesigned the routing filters. The new routing filters include introduction of output selection, users can now define rules for how BGP and OSPF will select output routes, added large community and extended community filtering, introduction of community lists, destination can now be matched with address list, RPKI support, script-like rule syntax allowing advanced filtering and assignment of values based on other protocol parameters. For example, you could adjust BGP local preference from the OSPF constant. OSPF is now a separate process. This change alone fixes many issues when OSPF could previously lose connection when used together with other CPU-intensive routing protocols like BGP. We also merged OSPF v2 and v3 configuration and introduced interface templates for more control over interface network matching. Also, OSPF now supports address and interface lists. Moving on. MPLS now supports interface lists. It also features multipath LDP v6 support and some other features that we will discuss in depth some other time. Please note that multicast and MPLS are now included in the system package instead of being separate packages. Before we continue, I want to give you a quick real-life example regarding the memory usage and performance. My colleague Maris took an old RB450 with 256 megabytes of RAM. With router as version 6, he couldn't load a single BGP feed. The router would just struggle for 9 minutes and then reboot as it ran out of memory. With version 7, the router managed to load the whole BGP feed in just 2 minutes, and it still had 120 megabytes of RAM left. So, RouterOS version 7 is amazing not only for new exciting products, but also for everyone out there with older devices. It is with great sadness that I must announce that the classic user manager has been discontinued. However, we made a new one, and you can configure it from Winbox. The new user manager features many new options. For example, you can create custom parameters and send to your client. The new user manager is completely different than the previous version, but I promise you, you will get used to it quickly and enjoy it a lot. Another cool addition is zero-tier support. Zero-tier combines the capabilities of VPN and SD-WAN. It provides advanced network virtualization and management capabilities. 
Basically, you can have all the benefits of a personal cloud without complicated configuration, setting up a domain name or having a public IP. For example, install the iPhone Zero Tier client and join your homeland without a hitch. But that's not all. Zero Tier allows your devices to communicate directly despite having different environments. Since communication is not going through one specific server, as in the case of VPN, you wouldn't be losing too much speed. Any two devices in the world should be able to locate each other and communicate through the most optimal path, almost instantly, with almost zero configuration. Obviously, this communication is end-to-end -end encrypted, don't you worry. Zero Tier emulates a true Ethernet switch. You can have L2 bridges with other Ethernet networks, wired, wireless, even virtual. The best part? This open source service offers enterprise level subscriptions as well as several free plans for home labs, remote access, tunneling and so on. To keep this video brief, I won't go into detail for some other changes. We will have opportunity to explore those in other videos, like our deep dive series. What can I say? Routers version 7 got me routing in heaven. There will be more news and updates as we are always working on new features, as well as digging through our feature requests. One thing for sure, the new kernel changes everything. And yes, proper Wave 2 wireless drivers are coming soon, so stay tuned, we have many surprises yet to be revealed.